wanna see you, you make my heart say Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to speak on something that I have been seeing uh, being discussed over the last few days, dealing with Danny Lee and B. Simone. Also, I wanted to discuss B. Simone. Well, the short story is that B. Simone, as you know, uh, works on the show Wild and Out, right? So Danny Lee apparently was asked to be a guest star on Wild and Out and uh in the middle of negotiations, her team asked, is it possible that the episode that she's on, if it's possible, could um, be Simone not be uh, uh, on that particular episode? Um, I think you guys, if, if you watch Wild and Out a lot, you know that um, they alternate, um, you know, the people who are actually on the show the uh, permanents as well as guests. So, um, Walla Knox said, sure. Now, Danny Lee said that when she got there, she was there, but she did not participate in that particular episode. So, fast forward, they did the episode. Everybody went on about their business. Next thing you know, Hollywood Unlocked um, put out the fact that Danny, uh, Danny Lee had asked that B. Simone not be on the episode. My understanding is she is the one who told the information about her being asked not to be on there. So then the next day, B. Simone, uh, which I don't know if you guys know, she has a show on uh, Bounce, on the Bounce Network called Happily Something or Something. Something happened to do with Happy. Um, so I guess she's doing a press tour to promote her new show, right? So, in the midst of the conversation, uh, she went on the Tamron Hall show and Tamron asked her, hey, is it true that Danny Lay asked that you not be on the Wild and Out episode that she was on? And she says, yes, right? Now, I saw it around, but at first I ignored it. Then I was watching uh, Lovely T, um, one of her lives, and she talked about it. So... Uh, basically, her stance was, okay, first of all, you gave Danny, you and Danny Lee don't get along. You chasing her baby's father, even um, at the time that she was dealing with him, you was chasing him. Now, when he was with Mimi, you didn't have any respect for Mimi as a young black woman. But this Puerto Rican or whatever, all of a sudden, when you found out that Danny Lee was involved with him, you said, oh, well, you know, those kind of girls are just pretty. They come out, uh, they pretty even when they in pampers, which is weird. Um, but she was like, well, you know, they pretty when they in pampers. And, you know, they just automatically have um, advantage over us as black women. That's, that's her words. And that she's going to leave him alone since they're together. This is what she says. Now, as long as he was dealing with Mimi or she thought he was dealing with just Mimi, she was jacking him, I mean, chasing him, like embarrassingly chasing him. As a matter of fact, when he was on Wild and Out, he made her look like a, such a fool. I don't even understand why she even would want him. Even though it was jokes, it still, everybody knew that she liked him. And how he handled her was so piss poor as far as respect, in my opinion. That's just my two cents. But anyway, so uh, we move forward back to now. So she uh, puts it out there and says, well, we're just going to give her grace on that situation and, and we're going to keep moving forward. Uh, that's what she said about Danny Lay. Now, the thing is, we wouldn't have even known it was out there had you not put it out there. So you're not trying to give grace. You're trying to give cues that people who are your fans are obviously going to be mad at Danny Lay. She's been uh attacked for uh that red bone song she's been attacked over colorism she's been attacked over a lot of things so people are gonna attack her that's what they do i mean she's not as popular she hasn't been around as long you know and she has a very um distinct 
audience of people. So if a person is not in that audience, they're going to hate on her. That's just how it is. So that's that was what your goal was. That's what you set out to do. Now, in the midst of this um, episode of Lovely T, it was brought to Lovely T's attention that um, B. Simone spoke out against Martin Luther King. So she looked it up. Um, I had never heard about this either, although it was apparently recent. Um, now, um, the baby just put out a song. I don't remember the name of the song, but he, in this song, he put out that he had a, a personal situation with Meg the Stallion. He did it purposely to embarrass her, to make her, to kind of shame her as promiscuous because um, it has been a lot of stories about, and then let's be honest, back in the day, it was like she was with this person, she was with this person, she was with this person in these photos and, and the photos, you know, looked like, they were personal situations. So it made her look like she was getting around the industry. And, you know, it's been said that, you know, she's done a lot of things and that she didn't make herself look so good. So, I mean, that was his goal to make her look bad. And so, uh, B. Simone goes and calls him the goat. Now we know that he cheated on his, uh, main girl who was Mimi we know how he treated Danny Lay, and now he's the GOAT, but you say that because Martin Luther King is, is been rumored to be uh, a, a man who maybe stepped out on his marriage, I don't know if it's true, I'm going to say allegedly, because I don't know that it's true, but they say that he was a man who stepped out, so because he stepped out, he's a horrible person, but the baby's the GOAT? How that work? How that work? The baby is the goat, but Martin Luther King is a horrible person. Not to mention, did she say horrible, horrible person, not a good man, but an okay human being. That's what she said. Um, that wasn't her verbatim, but that was generally what she said. If you Google her name with MLK, it'll pop right up. Because it was recently said. I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about that. I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about B. Simone. Her attempt to low-key get uh, Denny Lay attacked. Her attempt to make, uh, you know, disparaging remarks against MLK. Now, whether he did step out or not, these are not things that were publicized at that time. I mean... People may have known it. Clearly, if they know it now, they may have known it then. But for whatever reason, his wife stood by him. So if she didn't have a problem with that, I don't think that we at this point should take issue with that. That we should try to judge him for that. Because what he did give, which was his life, yeah, I think he gets a pass on that. Especially since no one made it public. No one put it out there in a way that, uh, you know... It was, it was to get in, in the way of the work that he was doing. And the fact is, we don't know, no, no, for sure. So I think the best thing for us to do, especially these many years past the point, is to leave it alone. Because if his wife didn't have an issue, if his kids aren't, aren't upset with him about it, and whomever else was involved personally in it, who the hell is B. Simone to speak on Martin Luther King? I don't like that girl. I really don't because she's shady. She's shady. She's a uh, self-serving. Um, and to say that Danny Lay is better than, uh, women because of where she's from and because of her skin color and this and the third, um, speak for yourself, ho. Cause, uh, <laughs> all I'm gonna say is speak for yourself. Cause, I know thousands of baddies that she can't hold a candle to. Uh, emotionally, morally, physically, period. And I want to know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you guys think about the fact that she spoke the way that she did. And then let's be honest. Now, this is the same woman who stole people's work and put it into a book to publicize it as her own to become a millionaire. 
Um, not only did she do that, she did it in such poor taste that a lot of the people got the book and it was falling apart. It was literally like copied and thrown together with a piece of glue on the end. Like it was the poorest put together book that it was. And then people had actually seen some of the information in there and knew who the publisher publisher was like she was just an awful person in a, in a lot of ways and and as a matter of fact i haven't even seen to where that girl was done right by the one who actually uh wrote the information that was in her book she just it, she's an awful person and and to think that just because this woman looks a certain type of way she's better than black women girl bye tell me what you guys think below and i'll uh see you in the next video